Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Hey, listen, we have a little bit of a break. Um, Team King Win obviously just finished their game against Mouse. Uh, there was some talk in chat as well that they needed to, like, eat some food because they didn't have a chance to. Uh, Alicia wanted to eat a pizza, and the admins were like, no, no pizza for you. So there's no pizza being had, but there is drafting being done. Hey, listen, how you doing? I'm doing good. Why, why can't you just sneak in the pizza during the draft? Just eat... Just draft with one hand, eat with your mouth, and talk with your other hand. Um, yeah, no, I'm with you. I, I think that that's probably what he's going to end up doing. Uh, I think the big issue is that he didn't want to end up having to like go to the door to pick up the pizza. So the pizza just got there. So I'm assuming right now Alicia is eating pizza with one hand while he clicks buttons with the other ones. Um, just a, a marvelous story that I'm telling here. Uh, but it's going to be Team Secret who put on a really good display in the last one, taking down 10 rounds. And, well, they're kind of going back to what worked before. A Bane for Puppy, most likely, and then Pugna being taken as well. We saw Ace play this the other day. Is that right? Or was it Fata? I don't know. I think Fata played this in the off lane. Yeah. And then Ace played the uh, Enchantress in the safe lane. Right. That was nifty. Ten seconds. It's interesting to see the, the Bane getting, he's like getting moved up now. You know, the, he's been picked up quite a bit, but never as a first pick. This is the first time he's been first picked, so he's moving up in the rankings. Ten seconds remaining. Well, Kingwin, they are pretty much sticking to what has worked for them so far. This is looking somewhat similar to their last series against Mouse Sports going to see if Team Secret have done their research in order to deal with this type of lineup. Yeah, and I think that it all fits with the way that we saw them play last time as well. Um, this is probably going to be a tougher matchup than Mouse, I will say. I feel like there were some kind of like sort of glaring errors that Mouse made at various points that uh, I would be shocked to see Team Secret make. And man, picks coming fast and furious. Rubik for Yapsor. We got the Disruptor taken as well. Most likely going to be seeing Alicia play that, I would guess. And then Venno for Secret. Well, they know exactly what they want. This is looking to be uh, some decent push coming out of Secret. I wonder if they're going to go back to the one position Enchantress with this type of lineup. Ooh. One Enchantress. I feel like that would be god-awful. Do you think it'd be good? Uh, I mean... Oh, right. Well, I guess... Well, he was sort of playing off lane, though, right? Because he was, he was alone in the safe lane. So it's sort of position one. I, uh... I mean, personally, I don't like it. But they made it work, so I like it. <laughs> All right. How, how do you feel about how Hestijo has been performing uh, so far? Obviously filling in for Fata since Fata had some personal issues to deal with. Oh, he's been doing fine. I think he's been playing very well. Uh, I think he's playing like a lot of the heroes that he played on Danish Bears and uh, what is it, like Cloud9 for a bit. Yep. I mean, it was basically the same team that whole time, but just yeah. going through different organizations. Uh, Imperial for a little while as well was their name, but obviously now just playing here with Team Secret uh, as a stand-in. Ten seconds remaining. Last pick. All right, this is a moment of truth. Five seconds remaining. See what they pick. Right. I don't. I. I just don't think it's gonna be like a a carry type of hero for for mid one. I don't see any of these heroes being a a, a mid one type of hero. Yeah, maybe like we. I think we did see him play a couple of ones that were slightly different when we were watching the um, other EU qualifier game yesterday. Uh, Terraboid? Oh yeah, the Terraboid. That's what it was out of the mid lane. I guess that is kind of a mid one hero. Dire team pick. Drow range. Oh, oh wow! Okay. All right, we got ourselves a Drow lineup. Interesting. I mean, it's a lot of push. Do you think that it's what they need? What are, what are, kind of problems are they going to run into here? 
uh, well, if they mispositioned themselves, it's pretty much a lost team fight. That's how I see it. Yeah. It's also always a, a rough time to play Drow Ranger against a Bat Rider. You're very uh, weak to these type of jumping heroes that can just jump on top of you, especially with an Earthshaker as well. But they do have that Bane as well as the Rubik for defensive purposes and to some extent Venomancer Ward's also very effective against Earthshaker and Batrider, so as long as they don't let people or they don't as long as they don't let Kingwin initiate on them, I think they can kinda form a an arc around the Tower Hilders and then play around that. Okay. That's something to keep our eyes on, how they end up trying to protect this draw. I'm sure as well we're gonna see lots of four staffs this game uh, to oh, answer yeah. it. And now Kingwin, what are they going to go for? Um, probably a safe lane hero or a mid. Uh, is there a place that you like the Necro more or things that you feel like they need to get more of in their draft right now? They need more heroes that can just go in and fight. I think uh, I think PA is okay. I think Juggernaut is a safer choice. I think Lifestealer is okay as well, but... I don't know. I think Lifestealer is actually pretty good. Nor normally, I would say Lifestealer is kind of bad against uh, Bane as well as the... Venomancer, but there's more than I think there's more than enough lockdown. But okay. I, I think I think my my preference would be Juggernaut would be my favorite one here. Okay. Well, we'll see what Team King would want to go for. Uh, obviously, the healing ward is amazing against Veno, and that just continued to sustain damage over time. Uh, if you can keep it safe, there's a lot of ranged heroes. They're actually all ranged with the Drow Rangers, so. Talk about dealing out the deeps. I guess they also have to think about what the matchup is that they want out of the laning stage. Yeah. The, I mean, the thing is, like, this, the scariest thing is that this laning phase is going to be very scary for Kingwin, like, in the early stages, at least, because everyone's going to have that draw aura. You have a Bane that's probably going to be hitting for well over 60-something damage. Pugnara, I think, hits for about 70, almost, at level 1. Okay. With the aura, so... It's a lot of damage in all the lanes, and the last pick, CK. Right. I'm sure, by the way, that Alicia waited to the last second so he could eat his pizza, and that's why it took very long to get that last pick, CK. Um, all right, well, there we go. Is it the answer? Is it what they needed? How worried would you be right now if your team's secret about the CK getting out of control? Well, if CK comes, gets out of control, that's kind of a big issue. Uh, yeah. he's. I feel like CK is in this position, like for this game, where if he gets his ulti off and he's having a good game, he has the farm and the items. If he ults and reality is pretty much anyone, they're going to die in like one hit yeah. from all the illusions. Unless they pick up a bunch of ghost scepters and all that jazz. I wonder if maybe Ace could get into enough farm where, like, the Aghanims could come out and then you can just one-shot all those illusions. Um, it probably doesn't one. happen quickly enough, but... That is a good idea. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see what ends up happening. Game number one, Team Secret facing off against Kinglin here in these EU qualifiers for the PGL Bucharest Minor. Already, we've had a lot of Dota 2 today. This is our third best of three. We woke up bright and early. That's well. I woke up at four in the morning. What time did you wake up? I woke up at five in the morning. Okay. I had to make sure that my wife could do some work stuff, so I I, I woke her up and then I woke up and I wanted to go for a run and then um, I ended up running into a few technical difficulties that thankfully were within my control. Um, but now we're here, third match. It's going to continue on. I am not sure, but I've heard. Uh, 10 rounds is playing so if that's the case then that would mean this would be our last best of three of the day man that feels bad you get your smoke broken at like minute less than zero oh lordy and again i, I wonder how much of this has to do with uh elvin and oh, her like bottom. usage of finding this out yaps are trying to stay alive he's gonna end up being found but are they diving this kinguin Wanting to go, Patos makes the call. They're going to try and dive him behind the tower at negative 37 oh, seconds. Yes. Yapsor, can he play his way out of this? It's so spooky, so scary. Being pulled back in, trying to juke, trying to jive. But first blood is drawn. 
And the rest of his teammates are just like, no, we're not we're not coming over there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure as unfortunate as that was, Team Secret probably laughing at that right now. <laughs> so like, come on, come help me guys. I'm sure Yapsor is oh uh, very frustrated. Well, nonetheless. The battle begins. They do get some good vision down. Um but yeah, what I was going to say is that it feels like they kind of have an inkling of where everybody is going already at the start. And it, it seems like Secret is always kind of prepared for that stuff. Um, I don't know. That's just my thought. Even though it ends up working out for a kill. And CK is not in lane. Oh, he's not TPM. It's okay. He, he's going to heal up. Uh, okay. The gold alone makes up for it. So, not yeah. a big deal. It ends up being um, uh, Earthshaker and Disruptor staying in this lane, trying to go for some type of uh, maybe play here on the mid one. And the Fissure is going to connect as well as the Static Storm. Mid one, very little HP here. It's a Fairy Fire, but holds on to it. He knew it wasn't going to be enough. Oh, puppy. He sneaks in the kill. Well Gets done. Help from Yapsor. <laughs> Just walks in there and gets the kill. He was looking for the courier snipe earlier, and depending upon how this goes, he could still get it since the courier is heading out right now. But he's gonna walk around. If he manages to find this on the so. way back, he's going no there. Way. It's, it's daytime. They're gonna see where he is. Okay. He would have to walk all the way around the left side in order to avoid being spotted. All right. Oh, bottom lane. Ace in a bit of trouble. And they yeah, this it's, around. He does another nether blast. There's a possibility for it, but he needs to just keep running. He's going to end up dying. And now Hesta Joe also going to go. As they have enough damage there to find the kill. Yapsor are going to try and pull the Disruptor back in. But right now, Kingwin making the play as they keep the Disruptor alive. And now Yapsor, maybe for the second time in a couple of minutes, is going to end up getting dove. That looks like he's going to be okay for now. Hesta Joe's gonna go. <laughs> hey man. Gotta do something, right? Alright, this this laning phase is so confusing to me right now. I don't I don't I can't tell where Ace is going. Like where is Ace going? He's still level one right now. Has no TP. He they wanted to switch lanes, I think, but then he died as he TP'd in to the lane, so going through the walk of shame right now. Barely hitting level two. Yeah. And the sort of saving grace right now for Secret is that mid one's getting decent farm, but you look at the way that the rest of this is going, and I mean, this is a laning stage that Secret needs to be ahead in, right? Or do you think that it's okay if they are a little behind in this laning stage? I think it's, it's okay if they're a little behind. Okay. You have that draw aura to rely on, so even if you fall behind a bit, but that's Joe probably going to go down. How does Exotic Deer crit twice? Or did he only crit once? I don't know. But anyways, getting a crit in itself, pretty lucky. Yeah. Not that it mattered, but... It was a nice little cherry on top there, and they're able to get him a kill. Five to one start already. Kinguin. Eh, causing Secret to run into some issues here. Oh, mid lane. Are they got him? Set up. Okay, maybe going to be able to find this. They pull him back in. Earthshaker Fissure to turn it. Ghost Shroud, pretty good ability. Not to mention, he also has a Death Pulse and can pop the Salve now. So Secret, a big rotation, not going to end up working. In fact, he should daring them to walk forward with that DD still in hand. Nisha's been having a good game of Dota so far, and a good day of Dota. You mean a good day of Necrophos? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, the thing was, I, th I think he should have actually died. I think mid one misplayed that uh, a little bit. He used his gust at the very last second, trying to min max the disable. But since the silence didn't come out at the right time, he did manage to get off the ghost shroud. So makes it away right. because of that. Oh, and I guess that it is still going to be Drow uh, doubling him up in CS about. So in spite of the fact that they found kills, it's still secret that actually are leading this game. Um, and with a pretty pronounced curve as well as they just are going to start to really excel in the CS department um, once they find their lanes. 
yeah, this is actually very surprising to me. It's it's five to one, you know. You manage to get kills on every single lane, but still the farming efficiency is there. It, it just kind of shows, you know, even if you get kills, it has to mean that you somewhat win your lane or you manage to find farm because of it, but not the case here. Yep. Well, one to five still, and we'll see if that CS lead continues or if maybe things will be able to equalize a little bit. Uh, there is another rotation down bottom. Acor had a great game earlier on the Nyx Assassin, the previous series against Mouse, but they're going to be looking down bottom for Ace now. A Fissure block off here would be quite deadly, and again, you don't expect that the Exotic Deer is coming in. They're heading off, trying to run away. They've got vision. They've got the damage, and Ace will most likely be going down as they actually brought four for this. Exotic Deer on a killing spree. This is the way you want to start if you're a CK. They just keep running around, sniping this uh, this Pugna. Yeah. Just bullying him there. And Nisha really just get in the business put to him by uh, mid one here in the mid lane. He's yeah. getting a little bit Lettuce through assets, but not 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 great. Not gonna be easy now that mid one is level six. The rest of the team gonna be very happy with the bonus damage that they're all getting. <laughs> mid one just does so much damage now, it's so hard to last hit. A uh, very fortuitous DD rune is gonna be picked up by the no, it's gonna be saved. He wants to shrine first. Understandable, get back to full HP, then come back and maybe try and set up a kill onto mid one. Who does have a fairy fire, but it still could be a scary moment if they manage to get it. Oh, it's going to TP down bottom instead? Okay. Well, he well, can still maybe do this. Trading. Yeah, he realizes that he might have just gotten Reaper there. Top lane, they're diving. Patos in trouble. They've got so much damage. From the Drow Aura, they're still chasing him and almost able to get the kill. They do take him down. Ace too strong at the end of the day. Nightmare keeps him alive. Wanted to go for the Reapers. Is he baiting it out? He ends up making the kill happen. Oh, the great silence was timed perfectly. And now Gekor also in trouble. They wanted that Reaper so bad, but mid one knew the limits and keeps himself alive. Very nicely done. And he's going to go for uh, two points in everything build. Very surprising to see. Normally you either see a max Frost Arrow build or a max Precision Aura build, but probably the first time I've seen anyone kind of go for a little bit of everything. Bottom lane, though. CK yep. ults. Doesn't have enough mana for the stun, actually. But uh, they should still be able to get that. Yeah. You've seen this story before. Guys in the exact location again. Oh, Hesujo TP's in, gets glimpsed back. Yep. Good glimpse nice. away. Bane is still there. That might be the death of Alicia, although Exotic Deer could think about trying to turn this onto him. And there's the chase inside. A good kinetic field. They get the stun. Alicia going to run away. Still taking the tower hits. And looks like that's going to be the death of him as Puppy wants to try and man up against Exotic Deer. Just going to have well, to run back. They find Ace. Oh. The blink. Or not a blink. Fissure, as well as a Firefly. Just running circles. Oh, life oh, drain, though. Yeah, it's not good. You need to run the hell away, but they find that Reaper Scythe, and that's enough for the kill. So Pugna's going down again. Four to eight, still a 2,000 net worth lead for Secret. They're making this work. It's it's much more back and forth than a lot of the other Secret matches we've seen today. Oh, wait. Barubic still Reaper Scythe? That shouldn't happen. Uh, He might be dead? Yeah, he's dead. He's going to get Scythe himself. How does it feel, Necro? <laughs> oh, justice. Justice. Got him. The Absor with a great steal. And I like this build for mid one. You know, he, he knows that he's going to be the carry. He's going to go for the, the farming build. Doesn't even need boots. Going to yeah. go for Mask of Madness. Just straight up heading into the jungle. Give the farm to someone else who might need it in the mid lane. Just to be clear, that was more a comment on Necrophos than it was on anything to do with Alicia. I like Alicia a lot, and Hesajo gonna end up dying here. Quick and easy kill. It feels good to see Necro get Reaper. That's the that's the big thing here, as the shrine is gonna be used, and Kingwin having some answers.
Well, they're definitely fighting back right now. But still, like you said, despite all the kills, Secret still ahead in net worth. Mid one is gonna be a big problem for King One down the line. Especially with the way he's farming right now and how they're controlling up the map. There's very little entry to where mid one is farming. Ganking him is not gonna be the easiest thing and they're gonna smoke up. Are they gonna take mid one? They want mid one to come with them, so oh. let's see if they can find anything here, CK. Oh, I mean, they, they might bait this rune. Yeah. I mean, CK's at full HP, though, so they're what, walking in with Fisher. Gonna smoke up, too. Uh-oh, this is gonna be weird. Here we go. Oh, this is so bad for Secret. Oh, no. They wrap around. Do they this spot him? This is so bad for Secret. I mean, well, Alicia, he's gonna end up running out of there for the moment. They steal Glimpse, I believe. But the wraparound is there. Petos is gonna initiate. They find themselves mid one. Try and pull him back in. Oh, what is up? up happening? Oh man, they reality him, so it broke the lasso, no. but mid one's still gonna end up going down. Exotic Deer oh, running he's away, he's gonna be able to live there. Does mid one really get out? What he's the hell? He can't mid get one either. alive on nothing. Oh well, it's gotta hurt. They do get the bat rider. And Kakor just waiting to die. That's Joe gonna run him down. Yep. Kingwin, they were in a very good spot with that 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 angle that they were coming in from. But I think Jeez. it's really it's really hard to fault them for that kind of play because the Batrider hits the lasso and Exotic Deer he he reality rifts and apparently that breaks the lasso. He didn't even move from the from from the lasso range. And still broke it. Very strange interaction. Yeah. I wonder if that breaks it for uh, like if you if you la or if you reality rift the bat rider as well. Uh, I mean, obviously not in this game, but in other games. I'm trying to think of that inter interaction. I would imagine it probably would. Yeah. Or Maybe it wouldn't because of different interactions with uh, enemies and allies. I don't know. Yeah. Well, Necrophos is going to take a nap real quickly and Puppy's going to run away. 12 minutes in, it's 8 to 9, but a 4,000 net width lead for Secret. And starting to feel like this game, over the next couple of minutes, could be where the outcome is determined. You're about a thousand and a bit gold away from the Blink Dagger for Earthshaker. If Kingwin are capable of holding on to their tier two towers, uh, they still just need to wait on this CK to get out of control. And that's that's really going to be their saving graces. Top lane, Puppy, he finds it, but not going to end up working out too well. Echo Slam used and maybe even a Reaper to boot. That's a dead Bane. Maybe a dead Yapsor. Do they have vision? They don't. They're not going to be able to see him. I, gets I, think away. I think you're okay with this. They, they pulled up five heroes up here just for a bane and bottom lane just taking a ton of damage between the Pugna as well as the Venom Master. They're just going to get away from this. And they don't even have their own tower pressure. So I think this is uh, not bad for Secret at all. Yeah. And Hesta Joe and Ace just down here, former teammates. Stand in teammates again. Ooh, mid one is going to go straight for the Lincoln Sphere. Very interesting build. Very defensive, but his job is just to get levels as fast as possible and provide his team right click damage as well as uh, have decent right click on his own. This is a nice thing about Dro. Doesn't really need anything to do a ton of damage. Like, look at this. He has two items Treads and Mask of Madness. And he already does. A about 200 something damage. Yeah. It's really nuts. Uh, double Veil's picked up right now. One on Venno, one on Necro. So he's got himself some extra bits of uh, survivability and armor, but that is still going to be a problem as they come in. Earthshaker trying to break the fissure. Can he get out of there? They need the ghost route. It gets off. Nisha going to be a liver, and now they've got themselves some more. Yapsor going to try oh, and find his way out of here. That's a big old combo, though. Holy Toledo. Chesta Joe, while damage was going off on the left side, mid one destroys the ZK. 
And then Hesijo just did a billion and a half damage. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. The whole I... team just contributing to that fight. Look at that yeah. lineup. Everyone dealing a ton of damage. How did Puppy do a thousand something damage? He actually brain sapped three times. He just brain sapped twice. And then I guess got some right clicks off. He hits hard. Yeah, that's right. He has the draw aura. Yeah, look at him. He's a uh, 131 damage with the draw aura. Bane is strong. He's real strong. And mid one now has the Aegis getting very close to the uh, Lincolns as well. And... Okay, net worth lead. Oh, Exotic, yeah, you need to get the hell out of here. This is scary, scary, scary. Again, how do you stop this push? Uh, the plus side, if you're Team Kingwin right now, is that they don't have, like, the greatest sustain as far as, like, regen and stuff like that. Um, but they have an Aegis on mid one, so it kind of doesn't matter. It's kind of hitting away at this tier two. Looks like they want to set up, I believe. Yapsor is in the area. Let's see. They're doing a good job of TPing back only a couple. Yeah, no reason to commit just yet. They also don't want to get glimpsed. They know it's coming. So, Alicia looking for that. They're not going to get it. A good sleep now. And now suddenly what was looking pretty good might be looking a little bit bad. That is a dead disruptor. All top lane, mid one, just able to TP out and... Just like that, tower taken and tower defended. Secret not giving up anything. I'll take that. Very nicely done. And yes. let's see. Oh, Kakor in a lot of trouble. Do they have puppy in range? Not gonna be fast enough. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower. We'll see him get punched in the face once. There it is. That last little right click that flew in from the Venomancer. Man, so things maybe could turn around here a little bit as mid one is going to pop the Mask of Madness. That means that they are silenced up, tries to find the stun, is going to connect two seconds on that one, and they're going to give the kill first one over there on two, one. Now they're going to have afterwards the Reaper Sight. That connects. That's going to be the full kill. Nisha taking down mid one. And that's not insignificant. Mid lane now. Gonna get last hole out. Uh oh. Secret playing a little sloppily. Getting yeah. kicked off in every lane. Double kill for Nisha. One down bottom, one in the mid. That's a hell of a lot of gold. Suddenly that net worth lead. That drops like, what, 4,000 or something with those two kills? Was it that extreme? I, I, I don't know. It said 9,000 after the first one. So I think right. that that I think, was. I think it rounds. Uh, I think it rounds okay. down and up. Oh, sorry, it always drops yeah. down. Sorry. So it's 2,000. All right, yeah. That makes more sense. But still a huge swing. And a lot of that going over to the cores, too. So that's 800 gold going to Necro. She uses to buy a Force Staff. Definitely going to be helping a lot. Earthshaker getting very close to that Blink Dagger. But yeah, secret. They have to be careful with those kind of moves. Because that wasn't just like pickoffs happening that was also denying them of their their ages so they have no ages now and king Gwen playing with a lot more gold as well as blink dagger coming up very soon or shaker can make all the difference in the world with that has to go back home to heal up but then afterwards do you think that right now king would want to try and go for a smoke play themselves to to catch secret off guard or well, Secret are going to smoke first. Dyer are scanning. Like, they have eyes on Alicia, but is this really the kill that you want? It's going to be the kill that they find. Well, you got to take what you can get. Oh. Smoke was broken by Alicia, so... You're just going to have to take his life for it. Oh, mid lane, though. Exotic uh -oh. deer. Pops ulti. Turns to fight. Earthshaker has a Blink Dagger, hasn't used it yet. They need to be careful. There is a Glimpse that's ready as well. They're going to pull in the Bane. Nice start to this one. Nisha's there as well. They end up finding the Gust. Well played there, Kcor. Walking forward. Fisher connects only onto one, and they're going to echo him solo. Oh, it could have been a little bit better. There's the Reaper, though, and now Ace going to be pulled back in and taken down. 
All right, King One really fighting now, but there's going to be that Static Storm down as well. They already got the Veno ulti, so the rest of King One need to back out before they all end up dying. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. He stole, Ra he stole uh, Reapers. Okay, Are looking for that. Vehicle? Alicia's still burning down to this, and it looks like he might end up surviving just barely with the Trinkles region. That keeps him alive. Well, the App Store, he steals the LT, but isn't able to find himself a uh, target. Dropping his Tranquil boot. <laughs> hey, don't get that stolen, man. That ain't good. Oh, well, Nisha? Just go shrouding for the fun of it. As he runs around. He does have 17 stick charges as well. So next fight, that's going to be really hard to bring down that Necro. Is he going to be going back for the Radiance build? It's like he wants to go for a pipe. I think a pipe is probably a little better here. A lot of magic damage. I think he's going to need some armor afterwards. Probably pick up Shiva's. I wonder if it's necessary for him to consider Lincoln's this game. There's a, a Bane as well as a Rubik who keeps trying to steal your Reaper Scythe and has successfully done so uh, multiple times already. Yeah. Well, they have the Lincoln's for the Drow at least to deal with the Batrider, but maybe that'll give some inspiration to Penguin. Pinkin. I'm, I swear, this name is going to screw me up forever and ever. <laughs> Wait, which name? The team name. Kingwin? Yeah, Kingwin. Wait, mid lane? Uh oh. Puppy. Puppy. Walking Puppy. into a trap. Now, well, that's not the way it wants to be. They got him there. Oh, Four the seconds done. Here. Static storm down, though. That's a good way to counter initiate now. Anisha looking for an opening here. He does have a hood to keep himself alive. And, well, they end up reapering him again. Anisha oh. gonna drop. He doesn't get the added timer, but. Again, Secret making the plays that they need. They are going to try and TP out, but Fisher's stolen again. Rubik and Yapsor, he plays your hero better than you. It's the tagline. Oh, man. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And all of that was just for a Bane. Oh. So hard to fight into that, into that Nether Ward. It's not, even, it's not even max level, it's just two levels of it, and it still manages to do enough damage to kill off the Necropos, make life hard for the supports to get into these fights. And they will have, when this fight ends up happening again in just a second, they have Echo. But getting into position for it is another question as we get courtesy of the other broadcasters. The Shrine is indeed at 100%. Plague wards, just death and damnation leveled on oh. top of each other. The walk forward, maybe an echo available. They drop the Venom ulti. Secret, do they clump up? This positioning by them is so good. End up activating the shrine. Keep themselves oh, aligned. The There's the echo onto two, but the counterplay comes out almost immediately. And Kcor, they're trying to make this work. They do kill off one. Hesajo's in trouble. Four seconds stun as well. And now Ace is healing back up mid one. Pugna being that defensive position one as they catch and kill him off. Nisha's dead. And again fissured. Again Kcor and troubled. Secret is just executing beautifully. Yeah, very well done. And they finally managed to take down the racks as well. They're going to be happy with that one. Walking away with uh, now a 11k net worth lead. Maybe look towards the Roshan now. Uh, Kingwin there. Oh, it's rough because they used so many of their cooldowns just to defend and still didn't manage to defend either. Yeah. No echo for another 90 seconds. They might just have to rely on Bad Rider to find a pickoff now. I don't think they can wait around. They have to at least try to make things happen. Well, when you look at this, Inveno is going to be getting a pipe really soon too. If that ends up happening. All of a sudden, the magical damage that you're relying upon to get back into this game is just nullified. It's going to be really tough. I'll take that. 
All right. What mid one is buying next? BKB. Wow, very defensive build from mid one. <laughs> All right, homie, stop clicking on the shrines. You gotta know they're at a hundred percent. That's true. I appreciate this knowledge. Maybe, maybe we should send the message back. Why don't, why don't I click on the shrine? <laughs> don't do it. You're gonna get us kicked out of the game. <laughs> I did it. Oh my god, Steven, what are you doing? Stop me, me. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We're I'm in trouble. I'm a rebel. All right, I'm, here we I'm go. I'm listening to you. Hey, they're Nightmare and Roche. I'm sure this is the play. And Fisher laid down. Um, 25 minutes in. Neat. All right. This is going to be another push. They're gonna group up. This is Cheese as well as Aegis. Second Roshan going Secret's way. And CK is gonna be going for Mantis style next. I, I don't know how I feel about a Mantis style. I think there's just so much AoE without the uh, the heart kind of beefing up your, your illusions. That Manta doesn't really do too much. I mean, is there a point in this game though where we end up seeing... Uh oh, he oh no. Is there backup All right. coming? Oh, wowza, wowza, wowza. They barely keep him alive, actually. But oh, the Fiend's rip. Grip is there. Can they get the kill? It's almost going to happen. Yes, he's going to go Hope down. They didn't get to the shrine in time. Patos, just oh so sad. Even reality rifting him back in. Now going to steal Firefly. Oh, man. Do you see, by the way, at the end there, how Rubik jumped in and the Apsar wanted to steal the kill? <laughs> oh, is that how it works? I think so. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. Oh, 13,000 net worth lead. And Nisha, knowing that they need to go for something big, he's going to be trying to get a Radiance, but it's just feeling like it might come out a bit too late. It is only one barracks down. Like, is this still a position that, that Kingwin are capable of, of taking the fight in? How, how bad of a position are they in? Oh, it's, it's pretty bad. Okay. It is not going to be easy. You're talking about, like, there's a BKB on, oh, wait, uh-oh. Okay, yeah, well, then, you know, that position got He's a little worse, worse. Yeah. He didn't steal anything yet. Still, uh, Flame Break, that's his ability. I clicked on Earthshaker. It looked like he stole Aftershock. I was like, that's not right. There they go. They're going to pull him in. Venomancer up there. Tina get taken down just barely. Static Storm was, uh, they're all silenced. They're able to turn this. Kekor trying to take down that Bane. They end up eating the cheese. Mid one still staying alive. Pull him back in. Exotic Deer takes down another. Can he get the armor toggles off? He will. So still staying alive, but he ends up dying to the DOT from Hestijo. And mid one now in a bad spot as well. They get another good silence out. That's the second one this fight. Oh, he but they will eventually lose him. And now he Ace it. pulled back in. He's going to be caught as well. This is going to be a full freaking team wipe. Secret losing everybody in their push for the high ground. The BKBs weren't delivered. This is uh, definitely like a curse of the commentator type of thing. They should yeah. have definitely <laughs> waited for the BKBs. I think they kind of jumped the gun on that one and not really respecting Kingwin's teamfight potential. They walked high ground without their BKBs against Disruptor as well as uh, Batrider and. Earthshaker, just, I mean, this this magic damage and magic lockdown from, from Kingwin is still something you have to be scared of. You're, it's not like you're 20,000-something gold ahead, right? It was just like 12, to, 12 or 13k ahead, so that was definitely a big mistake coming out of Secret, and yeah, the, the, the worst part was mid one delivered that BKB at the very end as well, so ends up using his first BKB only to die a little slower. Yep, sore. Fissure to start. They pull him in. They get the kill. That is a lot of gold given from your support to your carry. And sure, you could say that that's an indication of how far ahead Secret are. But at least for me, it feels like if the CK gets into a few more items, he really does become like an increasingly difficult to deal with hero. Would you agree or do you think that Secret kind of have the pieces to, to deal with him even if he gets some more farm? Uh, I think like right now, since they're still ahead by 10k, they they should be fine. But I mean, there is a, definitely a point where I feel like CK is just too much for them to deal with. Like, if he finishes the heart in time, and then he picks up maybe an AC, for example, 
then then you have problems, you know? Then then the illusions have something like 5,000 life, and then you find it very, very difficult to actually take them down. But he's going to be going for Heaven's Halberd instead. Disable that, that drow. Yeah. And the thing about that last fight, too, was uh, there were so many Plague Wards everywhere that it canceled the Earthshaker's Blink Dagger. He, he didn't echo anything, and they still managed to win the team fight. Yeah. Totally. It's something to, you know, that, that it's just hard to deal with. Um, I think part of that, too, is the fact that it was Hestijo that got caught at the start of it, right? By the, the Batrider the lasso? Bat yeah, I, I don't think he managed to get off his uh, his ultimate. I think that was a, a big part of their team fight. Uh, and that's something else to consider, is that if they were able to win that fight without the Echo Slam, I mean, what happens when the Echo Slam comes in? It's a lot cleaner. Yeah. I mean, uh, the thing you have to remember, though, it, it was a big mistake to not wait for the BKBs this time. Right. If they do find an engagement, it's going to be, you know, BKBs all over the place. So, right. And by all over the place, I mean Drow. <laughs> Drow. It was. Thousand. She did use her last one, so it was a nine sec, or it's only a nine second now, but that's still great. Um, let's take a look at some levels, too, because that's going to start mattering more and more. Necro is actually the highest level in the game and has that level 20 talent plus 10% magic resistance. So, right now, with the. Pipe as well. He's sitting actually at 57% magic resistance. Pretty ridiculous. Um, Drow is getting close to her level 20. Precision aura damage is more the same. She might even think about strength. What do you think of that? 14 strength is a lot. Oh, I think you take the strength. Okay. The 6% uh, precision aura is kind of not that great in my opinion. I think it's very okay. underwhelming. It's something you take if you're like miles ahead. You know, we're talking right. like two racks ahead and and you haven't even died once. Does the CK go for the 120 GPM every time, pretty much? 120 GPM? I think you take 12 stats. Really? 12 Ooh. stats is so hard to pass up. They caught Puppy here. The Fissure is out, and the Force Staff forward, and the kill. The way, I guess the... the way I see the talent is that 12 stats is basically like a little more than an ultimate orb. So you just count it as something like 2,000... 500 gold, for example. And how long would it take for you to get 2,500 gold with uh, 120 GPM? Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's just, that's just how I look at it. And it, not to mention, oh. greatly. Oh, mid lane. They glimpse Yapsor in the mid lane. They pull him back in. He is in trouble and most likely going to go down. So, Yapsor. Not yet. Not yet. Getting uh, a little bit caught out there. Another kill, and this one picked up again by Exotic Deer. Eight. Don't call it a comeback, ladies and gents. We got the LL Cool J song going on. I'm not that cool. I, I don't actually uh, listen to music. It's, it's LL Cool J. Mama said knock you out. Don't call it a comeback. We've been here for years. Rocking the cheers. You know? Nah. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> I, grew, I grew up with, uh, I, I grew up with, uh, with Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears. Oh, I'm just going to have to say bye-bye-bye to your casting career. <laughs> oh, wait, that's the other one, isn't it? <laughs> Shit, that's the wrong one. <laughs> All right, 23 to 24. It's 9,000 net worth lead, but it is also Team Secret struggling wait, wait. a little bit. Did they find Puppy? I think they found Puppy. Whoops. Yeah. They oh, have mid one, one though. That's even target. a bigger target. Yeah. He does not have the Scepter, so obviously it's not going to work out. So they have a force staff as well on Alicia that they could try and like force staff mid one into a bad position, but with everybody else gone, I don't think they're gonna want to go for it. All right, he's out. He's gonna All right. what? How does he see Absor? Absor? I uh, get him. They, oh, he he passed through the tower. The tower. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, he got a TP out of it, so not that bad. They see that Hester Joe's down bottom. And it looks like they are going to find him. Nowhere left to go. That's the Joe gonna die. So another pick off in this one on another high priority target. Reaper Scythe taken down. It's it's happening. With every kill, this uh this comeback looks very, very real. In fact, I think it's already begun. Yeah. Well, Here's the question, though. Drow lineups do function a little bit differently, right? Like, if you if you find and win a team fight, 
They can take towers so quickly, right? Yeah, but they're reaching that point where how do you? They're, it's starting to feel like they can't even reach these, these, uh, or to, they can't even win these team fights. Like Kingwin have actually picked up so many items and so many, so much gold and levels with the with these pickoffs that I'm starting to feel like this this uh, lineup isn't going to be able to win these engagements now. Okay. Yeah, Absor blinks back. And there's the there's the eventual answer. Is to have Ace throw out those Ags ultimate and kill off all the creeps. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. All right. Let's see how fast he can actually kill off all of CK's illusions. Radiance he does have a BKB now as well, so going to be a lot stronger Radiance in these engagements. Yeah. All right. Well, they take the tower with no real chance. Like, is there something else that Secret might be waiting for later on down the line that? Allows them to do it. I guess mid one is going into the Mjolnir and maybe Aghanim Scepter build a little bit later. Uh, I, I mean, the thing is, like, can you really keep waiting? I mean, if you wait for... You're just always going to be waiting if you have that kind of a mindset, right? You got to make a move eventually. Yeah. Mjolnir definitely going to be helping out, but I think with the Maelstrom, it's, it's decent. They might be waiting for... Kingwin to make a mistake at the Roshan pit, perhaps? I mean, that's the thing, is they have to take, like, the perfect fight. Because if they lose a 5-on-5 five -five engagement right now, then the game is completely out of their hands. And oh, in fact, the Pestigeo gets caught out right now. They're going to be able to do it, but Rubik oh, yes, stole the Static Storm. He tries to turn this back around. Can they kill him off in time? They get the BKB. Pestigeo going to maybe die. Can they get him? The heal coming oh, in from Ace. He saves his old teammate ever so slightly, just barely. Oh, it him. is going to be alive. Oh, my God. Ace oh, with the Nisha's save. Get caught out here. They take down Nisha, possibly. He's going to end up being forced up again, trying to run. They get the lift up. They take down one. Can they take down two? Nisha's still nothing. running. Oh, he doesn't have a TP. He doesn't have anywhere left to go. Team Secret. Just outplay them there. Just by the skin of their teeth, they take it. That was something, something else to watch. Pug Ace... Had to recast Life Drain three times because Hestijo kept running out of range. And because of his uh, perseverance, Ace manages to save his teammate. Hestijo, you gotta trust your boy. Yeah. Huh? They did it. Man. That was the ultimate bait. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for a fight recap. I guess I ended up missing it or something. Cause I guess they killed the Disruptor right at the start, but... Well, it's three heroes total that drop. You do have Necro back up in 35 seconds. Is this the moment now for Secret? Like, do they have to go high ground with this? Uh, I don't think you have to rush it, like, that quickly. I mean, sure, they just want a big team fight. They took Roshan, but Necrophos is only down for 20 seconds. Everyone else is up. There's always that possibility that you get yourself in a really bad fight thanks to Bad Rider, you know, lassoing someone and pulling them into your base. Yeah. Oh, and that's something to watch for. It is going to be that Drow Ranger Aghanim Scepter that's up next. We've seen how effective this can be late game against these illusion-based heroes. But if she gets blown up at the start of the fight, it almost doesn't matter. With Necro back up, Secret don't feel comfortable just bum-rushing high ground. Instead, they're going to send some Plague Wards up there to take down the Shrines. The Long Siege. They're just kind of hanging around. I think they're going to go back now. Start pushing out the other lanes, farm out the jungle. Mid one is pretty close to his, uh, his Aghanim Scepter. Absor gets the lift. Static Storm down. Guess what? He had it stolen. It's an Ags upgraded one as well. But they can't finish off. Now Necro... Got Death Pulse stolen. This is where we might really start seeing some serious trouble brew for Kingwin. Yapsor has an Agnums. Yeah, definitely. What are some upgraded abilities? Oh, you could steal Lasso and double Lasso someone. That'd be kind of cool. All right, Patos, don't Lasso anybody. Might do more harm than good. 
that kind of mentality is how you lose games, that's for sure. <laughs> Do they see anybody up here? They don't have vision right now. God, it's so scary. Trying to take this fight. The Ags is done for Drow, but buyback status, she doesn't have it right now. I have a feeling that they're probably going to wait for buyback. Oh, puppy, if you went in right there. Um, he has Aegis, so I guess they're not, like, as f afraid. And they have all their tier 2s up, so I think the thing is they're probably not too worried about uh, needing a buyback. They should be able to delay the game long enough that even in the worst case scenario, uh oh, they find got one. This is a very good pickoff. Static Storm down as well. They pull him to the high ground, and so well, the life heavy. drain coming in from Ace, trying to okay. keep him alive. There's Watch a Yule Scepter, but they pull him back in. Again, the Decrep, keeping oh, him alive. Left, and they're the still him. life drain, but the Echo Slam, it connects on to four. Can they get him out of there? They're going to try and pull one up, but that's actually Exotic Deer pulled down to the low ground. They are trying to take down and kill off Hesage Rotten, but it's not happening. Exotic Deer realizes he needs to TP the hell out. Nobody dies. Nobody dies. Did you see Ace. that? Echo hit four people and not a single person goes down. Yapsaw is so damn tanky. Well, and, and also is the like the decrep as well as the life drain helping him from the low ground? That was, that was, that was something else. The, the sleep slave as well. That yep. was great. All good things. And, well, they might be coming to an end now as Nisha walks forward the Ghost Shroud. He's still going to be staying alive for the moment. Rubik steals Ghost Shroud himself. He can feel more comfortable walking forward now. Fissure to block it off. Exotic Deer walking forward. They are going to pull can back in lasso? one. Can and now lasso? he did steal Lasso. Can Let's jump forward it. if he wants to at this point. And now can they maybe take down and kill off the CK? He's running, trying to find him. A still draining life. Exotic Deer barely going to fall. Oh, yes, Estejo gets the kill with the DOT. All right, wait for it. I'm, I'm ready for this double Lasso. Let's go. All right. They should know about it as well, though. I'm sure that... Kinguin are aware, but if they lasso this and Yapsor, he's looking for it. They're smoked up. They don't see him. He's walking forward. Does he want to go for this? He has a blink, but no force. They would need to get somebody else to force him out. Yeah, I think it's too much. He just instead, you go down bottom, try and take this last set of Eric's. Don't need to go for the super flashy play. No, you have to. I need to see it. <laughs> you know what else he could steal? What? He could steal CK ulti and then cast it on Drow. Oh, that's true. That would be sick. All right, now we got to see that, too. <laughs> got to see the lasso, and we got to see the uh, target ally-targeted phantasm. If there's a person who'd be trying to do it right now, it'd certainly be Yapsor. Oh, he's got the invis as well. This is it. All right. Will they find that opening? They have not a ton of vision, actually. But they're walking up, and that invis is going to last for a little while. They smoke up, wrap around to the outside. k he has Echo again. They're oh, all grouped up together. Up. They pull back in one. It's on the Necro, but they can turn this back around again. Echo slammed down onto three of them. Can they do enough? Oh, That's already going to be so much, much damage coming in from mid one. They're going to pop this forward, and, well, stealing Reality Rift, it's going to be more than enough. Nisha in trouble. They throw out that Reaper Sight to no avail. Oh, Stolen Reaper Sight. It. Turn back the other way. And Yapsor making the plays his team needs him to. GG is called as secret. Take game number one. All right. Got a little sloppy in the mid game, but they made up for it with that uh, big turnaround in the mid, mid lane. And then from then on, it was just smooth sailing. Team Secret 